Hello everyone, we will continue the topic change document log for Z tables. And in the previous video, we called the function module as a part of insert database operation. We pass the various values to the parameters of the function module. We put I as update indicator because we are going for insert and we pass that data to new parameter. Now, so many people ask, yes, would they, it is very difficult to create this much big program if I want to directly, directly start with change document log. So can I get a backup of this program? You can drop a mail to me. I will send this particular program. And yes, once you go for this program, at least your tables and data elements should be created, else you will get a syntax error. Yes, if you have tables and data elements are created, I'll just send this particular program. And in that program, you can directly, directly start with the calling of this particular function module. Now, now what we will do, I will just simply put a breakpoint and we will understand the full process in the debugging mode, how, how the log will go to CD, HDR and CD post tables. I will run this program. Suppose I will insert a order number. Suppose I will go for order number, suppose 60. I will check in that table first. I will go for a order number, which is not in the database table. So that it should not be the case, I will get the error. I will go to order header table. Okay, 60 is not in that table, so I will go for order number 60. Suppose I will go for some order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. I will go for insert. I will click on to execute button. I will go to desktop 3. We clicked the first radio button. So first radio button is capital X. Whatever the values you are passing from the screen, we are passing it to this work area. LWA underscore data. LWA underscore data. So in this work area, we have the particular record. We are inserting to database table and you can see the record inserted successfully because the size of RC is zero. Now record inserted to our order header table, but the same record should go to CD, HDR and CD post table because that will be a log or history. So now Whatever the order number we are inserting, I passed it to this particular variable, lv underscore object id. Now you can see order number 60, we are passing to this function module, transaction code 38. This is the time, date, this is my id, and same to same work area, I'm passing to this particular new parameter. Same to same data. Now, in this function module, SAP has written the logic to update CD, HDR and CD post table. Now, I will simply, simply do F6. There's no need to go inside the function module because that is SAP logic. Now this function module executed successfully and I got the message. Now we will check our order header table first. Is 60 in our order header table? 
you can see order number 60 is in the order header table. But our topic is log, log or history. So whatever we did in order header table, log should go to CD, HDR and CD post table. So what I will do, I will go to CD, HDR table. CD HDR table. I will display. I will go to the contents of the table. Now, first, I will go to object ID. But the object ID value we passed 60. So I, we will be able to find yes very clearly. If I will go to execute, I, I passed zeros before that. Eight zeros, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight zeros, sixty. Yes, you can see we are able to see this particular sixty. Forget about this. This is not our record. This is our record. Just see clear, clear header information. This is our. Z order H. If you remember, this is our change document object which we created in SCDO transaction code. In SCDO transaction code, what is the name of change document object? Z order H. But the object ID we gave 60, 60. Username, if you see, what is the username we gave? We pass the system variable for username. If I will go for this. We passed the system variable for username. All header information is there. You can see all the header information. You can see. After that, that date, what is the date? Today's 22nd September. We pass the variable for that date. We pass the variable for that time. Time is clearly written. What is the transaction code we passed? We pass the system variable for that transaction code. That is SC38. So all header information is in the this CD HDR table. See, in the future, if someone delete order number 60 from the header table, order header table, but log is always, always in the CD HDR and CD post table. This is the main benefit. Now, no one can delete from CD, HDR and CD post table. It is permanent log into this table. Now, I will copy this change document number. And now I will show you the item table also. I will go to SC11 transaction code, CD post. I will go to the contents. Change document number will help you to reach up to the direct record. I will go to execute. Now you can see clear, clear information. Yes, this is our of this is our object change document object which we created. 60 is the object ID. This is the number which table we updated. This is our order header table. And what is the primary key? What is the key in the table? Order number 60, 60. And have you seen? We pass the value what to the change document indicator I. So it is a permanent log into this table. And anyone can see that on that particular date, the order number 60 is inserted to the database table. If someone deleted from the order header table also, but no one can delete from this particular table, it is a permanent log into this particular table. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, 
we understood the flow in the debugging mode, how the various things are passing to the function module. And in the function module, we have the logic which put data into CD, HDR, and CD post table. After that, we verified the result into CD, HDR, and CD post table. And one important thing, because maximum people ask, so many people ask, there is, it's very difficult to create a database operation program again. So can we get a backup? Yes, you can drop a mail. I will send the mail, pro, I will send the program to you. But just, you need to create the table and data elements for the same. Rest, you can use the program. And in that program, you can directly write the logic. You can directly call the function module, which is maintaining the log. In the next video, we will go for delete log, how we can maintain the log for the delete. So that's it in this video. Thank you.